welcome back to Bath the Starcast Racing. It is a very overcast day, and I believe we have some news, don't we, Larry? Yeah, so I've got a bit of housekeeping to do here. So when uh, you eagle eyes down there and worked out that Aunt Web Weber was the actual winner, so uh, we're going to do some adjusting here. I'm s we're still going to let all three cars go through to the next round, but as per the invitational at uh, the uh, the rules that were put up, uh, the YouTube's points do go do not count on the rule one and rule update two, which is the jammed rule. Uh, if he's leading at the time of the incident, automatic move on. But the YouTube's points once again will not count. So in remaining with consistency, unfortunately, but it's only fair. So golfer dude Numskull and Chris Hood will have their two wins reduced to one. Uh, Nadine's Thermic Kitchen, Shelley's Diecast Racing Channel, Chase Family Racing and William Kern will also have one point removed. Feel bad about it, but it's just the way it goes. Ray Ray Sugar, sorry bro, first go and you had two wins, unfortunately I'm going to pull that rug. And Elevation Diecast Racing will all just go with the one point. So it's got to be fair, and it's yes. about as fair as I can do. And thank you very much for everyone for making the comments and correcting it. But... Let's go with round semi-finals 23 uh, with these little beauties. Take it away, Harry. So, we got the Ferrari Testarossa 44 grams drivers, Mr. Mojo from Bathurst Diecast Racing. Oh, very, very cool. We're not keeping you awake, are we, mate? <laughs> All right, and then the Porsche, no, Porsche 911 GT, 53 grams. It's Frank Furter from NZ Racing. Let's go with the Porsche. I'm gone for him. So, Ford Mustang 70 grams drivers, Killer Kowalski. T low Country di Diecast Racing League. That's the way you go, killer. And then uh, Nissan Maxima Drift, 36 grams. The driver's big keg from Fat Bastard Garage. Fat, Fat Bastard Garage. Let's see, get some English going there. All right, these cars are all very, very cool. The Ferrari doesn't have dog ugly wheels anymore. But let's check out <laughs> the conditions of the track. So it is 35 degrees Celsius and 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, 92, I think, or 96. It's all right. Either it's, one uh, of those. It's, it's still fairly warm. Let's go for the rock. Oh my goodness, you can't yes. get much more rain than that. It's a 20. And yeah. you definitely can't get much more <laughs> rain than that. Maximum rain, maximum laps. This should be very, very exciting. Let's get to the top of the mountain. And <laughs> no doubt about the rain. And away they go. Revving their guts out. Portion last place, not really where you want to end up. No, well he's in third, so Killer's yes. out in the lead with Mr. Mojo coming in second. Frank's right behind Mr. Mojo. And Big Keg's running rear gunner at the moment. A little bit sideways for that portion. Keg's and coming spinning. up behind him. Oh, Frank might be pressured by... Um, oh. Big keg there. Look at the sideways from Killer underneath the uh, tyre there, but it is Killer Kowalski so, across the line. So everyone keeps their position. No, you know, no overtakes. No, not yeah. at this stage, but uh, you never know what's going to happen next. And it looks like the, the sideways here, Mr. Mojo gets a little bit wiggly. And look at that from uh, Frank Furter. Starting to lose it, but manages to keep it under control in this big drift by these two. Mr. Mojo loses it. Killer keeps it. And that's always going to help with a good lap time. And across the line, Killer Kowalski so, with an 8.19. 8.19. It's pretty good. It's 8.29 for Mr. Mojo, 8.49 <laughs> for Frank, 99 for Big Keg. So Killer Kowalski with five, Mr. Mojo with four, Frank Furter with three, and Big Keg with two. So Kowalski... Did good on that one. Let's hope there's a clean sweep. But yeah, a clean sweep, you mean? Clean sweep. Yeah, Same it looks thing, like Larry. looks like I've actually positioned. Um, it looks like a Frank Furter in the wrong position there, but we'll have to wait and see. Oh, a bit of sideways there by Killer. Ooh, keeps it under control though. Mr. Mojo bringing up the rear. Oh, getting sideways there for Frank. He's having some difficulty coming down through the entrance to the chase. Big sideways. What's it going to be? Oh, slide! Oh! No. oh. Wow, Was that keg. Big Keg? Big Did keg he get Mojo through? Did Mojo get past Frank, I think? No, they oh. don't. They big, get held up. But big. big Keg got made. Big Keg made. He did. He saw that opportunity and said, I'll have that. Thank you very much. Goodness gracious. So, um, 
Yeah, there's Big Keg and Mr. Mojo getting side, what, caught up there. Slowed Mr. Mojo right down, but Rubbin is racing. And but getting close, Killer trying to get closer. I think that's beautiful killer, drift, though. Yes, yeah, it is. Killer, killer in second. Yep, look at another big drift. He's uh, he's starting to be a little bit of a show off here, but unfortunately, Frank gets just spins it around. And look at that oh, from Killer, just beautiful drift. Oh, it's lovely. There's and a lot to unpack in this replay. There is, and Mr. Mojo with a beautiful sideways as well. So what happens here? So it looks like he Frank... spins around. Yep. Stops. Stops Killer. So the Killer's not moving. And look at Big Keg move to the outside to get around that once again. They make. And it... then Mr. Mojo just barely misses him. They made it three wide down the corner there. They did. So. Only just does Big Keg get through. He does with a 1018. Frank Furter, Mr. Mojo, and Killer Kowalski all post tire, but it's Big Keg across the line. So Big Keg was 7 6 for everyone else, which is Killer Kowalski, Mr. Mojo, and Frank Furter. All on 6. Well, there we go. Not today, Satan, with your 666 going there, and away we go again. Killer Kowalski and Paul. And it's all. Fairly tight coming up Mountain Straight. But it, oh, how close is this going to be? Killer makes it only just he in does. front of Frank. Oh. Mr. Mojo trying to get through and then Big Keg. This is tight as. Oh, oh Mr. No. Mojo up the inside. Oh, he didn't quite make it. Very close, but then Frank, Frank closes the door. He did. He shut the door right in his face. And then they, oh. Big Keg only just got some more points. <laughs> <laughs> Frank getting sideways across the line, but it is Killer Kowalski. That was uh, very, very tight there. Absolutely gorgeous racing. Let's get back into this replay here and let's see some sideways. Look at that from Killer. Just gorgeous sideways, well controlled. And then uh, decides to do it again, coming in through Forest Selbo. And look how close those three are through there. Very close as a tight pack there. Getting very close and then Mr. Mojo trying to make it through. Frank Furter closes the door while Killer Kowalski in pole position. Mojo spins around which gets to get Big Keg to only just get those points in the background there. He does, he did slow him up there but it's Killer Kowalski across the line with the 913. Frank Furter 920, Big Keg post, Mr. Mojo post. Didn't quite make the line, it's gonna hurt the points. So Killer Kowalski with 11, Frank Ferd with 10, Big Keg with 9, and Mr. Mojo with 7. We've got another 9, 10, 11 here again. These uh, internationals are absolutely nailing it, and the local, of course, but Big Keg. Mojo in pole position there. But it yeah. looks like Killer Kowalski is getting in front from the outside line, because that outside line is, le is very smooth. Yep, it's harder to get, though. Another sideways by Killer. Inside's bumpier. But Mr. Mojo did not oh, take advantage of that Frank, pole position. Frank trying to get past. Oh, it's getting messy yeah. here at the end. Can Big Keg get Keg across? Oh, oh, very oh. Close. <laughs> it looks like Frank takes out Big Keg after the uh, finish line there as well. But it is um, it is a little bit quicker through that inside lane. But so to come from the outside by Killer is is an absolutely stellar, fantastic job, and yes. he is just loving. He is having an absolute fab time. Mr. Mojo is too, but isn't quite um I've no got the speed. I've kinda noticed. Where are all the kangaroos today? Where are they gone? Well it is raining, you might they might they might not be around. We'll um True. have to keep an eye out for them. <laughs> and look at this side for Mr. Mojo and Big oh. Keg. But it is Killer Kowalski, 834, very nice. Ooh. Mr. Mojo 839, Big Keg 842, and 853 for Frank Furter. So Killer Kowalski was 16, Frank Furter with 12, 12 for Big Keg, and Mr. Mojo with 11. But all those other points don't matter, but Killer Kowalski... Driving, driving for Low for Country Diecast Racing League in the in Ford Mustang. Moving on to the next semi-finals. Well next done, round. Killer. Now, was Frank Furter from NZ Racing handicapped enough by incorrect starting positions that he should be given another shot? Type yes or no under the pin comment to decide his fate. Oh, that's a bit uh, harsh well, to put it, but Numbskull, Greg, Chris Hood, Shaggy, Golfer Dude, and the Sparky, con congratulations to all. And Puff, Kit Goodyear, Keith Filipiak, RC Recreation, Oscars Fur Racing, and Larry Henry. 
And we have another lot. Thomas Filipiak, Red Trucks, Miami Rose, Chase Family Racing, Wasis DC Garage, and Brian's Diecast Thailand. Congratulations to all. He was a, a popular choice, the killer. Whoa. Everybody loves the killer. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, she's Look pretty dark the, looking. Uh, it's dark right now as we're <coughs> recording this. I can see out the window and it's really dark here. It absolutely is. <laughs> And here we go for semi-finals 24. Oh, there's some rally cars in here. We do have one there. So the 73 Grand Torino, 73 grams, Mark from Flips Racing. That's very funny. 73 grams, 1973. He has. He's worked it out well. Then the 62 Chevy Custom, 42 grams. The driver's Jimbo from Team Red Trucks Racing. I think this is a Holden Monaro Sighthound, 44 grams. Driver's Paul Dampool from Cuts Speed. Yes, he is the northern, he's uh, up there in um, Germany and he is basically Australian. And the 16 Ford Focus by Jason Miles from Miles Milestone Racing. Racing. Yes. So away we go, let's Here go and go. check the temperature out. Let's see if it's gonna be hot, cold. I think it'll be colder than cooler. 36 degrees Celsius and 96 yeah, degrees Fahrenheit. It's, about it's the same. same same, same conditions. Yes, yeah, same temperature. Well, let's see if it's going to be wet or dry. And it looks like to be dry. It is full dry race. Oh, hang on. Don't know why I'm flipping that over there. Oh, oh, uh, uh, What's where? going on? I, You know, for some reason, I, I think I made a mistake with this. I thought it was going to be... It was 11 and up, and uh, oh, it looks Larry. like Larry's made a mistake. But anyway... The weatherman has made a mistake. He has. Well... Uh, this is such a professional YouTube channel. <laughs> and away they go. It looks like Mark has taken the lead here. And Paul's getting a little bit sideways coming down through. Oh, Jimbo in last place. Come on, Jimbo. Get past. Nah, he gave a bit of a nudge, but he is staying behind. So it's Mark out in the lead. And Jason in second. Jimbo might get past here, but I'm not sure. I hope he does. Come on, Jimbo. Oh, 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 Mark got absolutely ripped there. Did Lost a little bit sideways, and Jason said, well, if you're going to make the mistake, I'm going to take the advantage. Hello, this is your captain speaking. We have some turbulence on the uh, the <laughs> helicopter camera. And it looks like, look at the big sideways from Paul. And sideways again, and Jimbo comes through, probably does him a little bit of a favour and straightens him up there. Tries to get past, but... Big sideways by Jason. And Mark comes Mark, through. Yeah. Looks like he's going to make it and drifts it round, but just loses the momentum. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> big, big spin by Jason. And, then, and says, well, if you don't want it, I'll, I'll have, have it. it. Yep. And across the line he goes. So even with that big sideways, an 8.28 for Jason, 8.34 for Mark, 8.41 for Cucks. And Jimbo's 8.46. So Jason Miles with five, Mark with four, Cups with three, and Jimbo with two. Yeah, it actually should be Paul there, so um, we might fix that up in the next one. Yes. And they're revving again. Jimbo's in pole position, and it looks like... Oh, I think there's a like crash Looks like Paul's here. going left and right, and is Mark's that... trying to get past. Hey, what happened there? He had a big spin. Did he make it through? No, it was, it was Paul that did the sideways, and then... We'll try Mark and get is, past Jason, Mark is I think. right on Jason's hammer. Oh, Mark, I meant. Sorry. Yeah, Paul's coming up in the rear. Come on, Mark. Mark might get past the little drift by Mark there. Jimbo trying to get past. Very slow by um Paul in the back there. Yeah, unfortunately, he was not used to driving in the rear, but it there is Jason across the line again. And uh, he was just hounded all the way round there uh, in the last sort of three quarters of the lap by by Mark, it was, in flips. Very, very tight. So what happens here, it looks left and right by Paul trying to keep the position done. And then Mark just then, moves yeah. up on the inside. See that outside row getting, kind of getting the advantage because it is smoother on the inside. Well, yeah, it's sort of, it, it's balanced out between the two. So if you've got a fast car, you're going to do it. <laughs> and then big sideways, big spin by Jason, but it does not matter. He keeps the lead position. And he makes it through. So Jason Miles with an 8.24, Mark with an 8.28, Jimbo with a 9.33, and Paul with a 10.48. 
So Jason Miles with 10, Mark with 8, Paul with 5, and Jimbo with 5. So both 5 there. Yep, Paul and Jimbo have got to do something here at the end because these guys are, uh, we've got Jason and Paul, so. Mark and Jason, the two rivals. Going head to head. Look how close these guys are. These guys going to be like one big freight train all the way down there. <laughs> that it just well, a little bit of sideways. Oh, Mark no, goes to the outside. Mark might get past it Jason is, here. It's side by side, and Mark has got ahead, and he's yes. slowed everyone down. Which actually Jimbo makes it past. Oh Jason my goodness, again. Jimbo! Jimbo makes it. <laughs> and there's some kangaroo down. What of the kangaroo? He he just fell over. <laughs> he, he was he passed out. He could see what's coming and. And goodness gracious me, Jimbo, that's absolutely spectacular. He was like, oh my gosh. And then just... <laughs> and look at this oh, from these two, Jason. side by side, and that's Mark where he starts to make the move. It. Mark only just makes it through there, as he you does. can see. But they're almost magnetised together, they're slowing them all down, and Jimbo's going, um, guys, can I get through here? Pardon me, boys, is that the cat that chewed your new shoes? Mark hitting the barrier, which lets Jimbo wow. get through. Mark looking like he might get it, but then Jimbo, just as we enter off the screen, only yeah. just making it through. Very, very for nice work. The pole position for the win. Well done, Jimbo, with a 920. Mark with a 925. Jason Miles with a 932, and Paul with a 937. So Jason Miles with 13. Mark with 12. Jimbo with 10 and Paul with 7. Wow, I said Jimbo needed to do something. It's still technically anyone's race, but he is in the worst position. But you never know what happens with this racing. Come on, Jimbo. And it looks like Mark is neck and neck with Jason Miles. Who's going to get out ahead here? It close. is by a car length. Boy, well, Mark. less than a car length because he gives him a whack in the rear end. <laughs> Mark only just making it through. And look at Jason. Paul starting to hunt down red trucks as well. Jason might make it through, but it doesn't look second. like Second, let's it. have a look. Oh, very close there at the end. Oh, oh look how, look how close as. was that. That was tight as. That was an ant length. <laughs> an ant length. When the ant isn't facing the length, but the width. So that is very, very close. And big sideways oh. there by uh, Mark. Look at say Mark. <laughs> Mark 1 from Iron Man. Yes, Mark with an 8.14. That's really quick Ooh. times. 8.16 for Jason Miles. Paul with an 8.40 and Jimbo with an 8.52. Wow, so Jason Miles, and 17. Mark, 17 each. Jimbo with 13 and Paul with 9. I think that's only that's so, only right. So the two Fords driven by Jason Miles from Milestone Racing and Mark from Flips Racing will both... Move on to the next round of the semi-finals. Well done, guys. So congratulations to NZ Racing, Scotty's Diecast, Cut Rocker, Fat Dad, and Shelley's Diecast Racing Channel. And with two wins each, we got Chris Hood, Numskull, Shaggy, Golfer Dude, and the Sparky. All with two wins, wow. That's absolutely fabulous. And more with two wins. Some of them, Puff, Kit Goodyear, RC Recreation, Keith Filipiak, and Big Keg. Keith and Big Keg got one win yep and with two wins it's oscar fur racing larry henry and miami rose and with just a single thomas filipiak and what the <laughs> with ccdc garage with two wins brian sarcast time with two wins nadine semi kitchen lobotomy scan and chase family racing but wait the two <laughs> youtube's leaderboard chris hood with 22 oh. rc rec 21 nadine's thermi kitchen 21 red trucks and big keg on 19 brian's diecast thailand on 16 Num Skull, Kit Goodyear, SX Boys, all on 15. Golfer Dude, Ratzak, and Oscars Fur Racing, all on 13. Wow, it's still, uh, it's still, look, there's people that have come back from miles behind. There's guys that have just started recently doing it, and they're up around the 10, 11, and 12, so I'd, it really still is anyone's game. Mm, I'd say I think they came from Jason miles away. Oh, stop <laughs> it. So, um, yeah, I'll put a pin comment up to see what you guys reckon. Uh, in the first race, if uh, we did uh, do a do a dirty on the on the Porsche there, yes, and it's but just yes or no. It's up to you guys as well. And um, it's like with the last voting, it was four and five or five and six, yes to no. So that's why I made the decision to let the cars go through. But the YouTube's points should be consistent. So yes, because it's, it's an evolving thing. Yep. Yeah. So Chris Hood, 
No longer tied with Nadine Somi Kitchen anymore. No, he has stretched, that, lead. He stretched that lead there. But, um, yeah, it's absolutely fabulous racing. Very tight once again. Uh, thank you all once again for our internationals and our local drivers. <laughs> we really do appreciate the effort for you guys to, to get it in here. So, yes. anyway, my name's Harry. No, my name's Harry, uh, Larry. Look, can my name be Harry now? Okay. All right. Well, my name's Larry. Larry! <laughs> and, and thanks for watching. Bathurst Starcast Star Racing. Racing.